What is going on guys? Welcome back. Okay, so in order or before we need to change the code around right here in our position uh, P tags, what we need to do is we need to create a new page. We need to create a page called, um, I guess, new underscore page, the same way that we created our new underscore info.php page. So where we're going to grab this template from is our edit underscore page dot ph edit underscore page dot php file so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all this information right here I'm gonna copy it and let's open up our text editor and I'm gonna go ahead and paste this all right here I'm gonna come down here to php and I just need to save it now and I'll just go ahead and save it to my root folder save as VP untitled we'll call this new underscore page, page dot php go ahead and save it okay so business as usual we need to go through this we need to look for the variables that are referring to our new underscore info dot php page and we need to change them to our new underscore page dot php page which the variable that we're referring to is our table two variable so so let's just keep scrolling down and check required fields. I want to go ahead and add the super global variable of post right here. We can pass this informa information through our URL as well as right here. Nothing's top secret. I don't mind it going through our URL. Okay, let's go ahead and keep scrolling down. Adding, I feel like we're missing something here, and we are one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, information underscore ID. If I recall correctly, information underscore ID, MySQL prep, info, that looks good. Um, Okay, it's going to be a little bit different of a query. We need to have the correct commands. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and delete this whole query right here up until there. And let's go ahead and start plugging away. So what do we want to do? Capitalize for uh, MySQL commands, insert into, do we call it page or pages? I believe we called it, let me pause the video. Okay, so let's go back to our new underscore pages. And let me go back to my site. That didn't really matter. Okay, insert into pages. I'll drop that down there. Insert into pages, menu, position, is it visible? contents and information underscore ID no comma after that because that's the last one and our values another parentheses um, just drop down a line and we'll go ahead and can I copy and paste where is it where is it? I'll just hard code it in. Uh, nope. Curly braces. Menu. And got to have your single quotations outside of it because it's a string. Position is not a string. Nope. This is going to be a long video. There's a lot of code involved here. Position, again with visible, close curly braces, content, single, uh, single quotations because it is a string. I can never find this darn button. Obviously not. Okay, I'm going to push the forward on the arrow. 
And last but certainly not least, subject ID or information ID. And it does not need single quotations because it is an integer. Let me look at this. I believe this is safe to close out. Okay. We need to restructure our if statement right here. And this video has gone on long enough and it's, I don't want it to be any more confusing. So in the next video, we will restructure this and conclude our new underscore page dot PHP. So good luck with this guys. I hope this makes sense. I'll see you guys in the next video.